Alrighty. And we're back for another episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman. My name is Mark Zimmerman. I'm an artist. I live out in the Black Hills. And I'm going to do an ink transfer drawing. That is ink. Um, a very thin layer of black ink. And I'm going to drop a sheet of paper on top of that ink. Seems like a funny thing to do, doesn't it? And I'm going to do it anyway. And then what I'm going to do is draw and rub on the back of this paper. That'll transfer ink to the front, which again is face down on the ink. And then I'll finish it with just a little watercolor too. Okay. So I kind of want to know where that ink is, so I know where to draw. And I have it inside a rectangle of tape, and I can feel the edge of that tape and poke this pen up in the corner of that rectangle and drag it along the edge of that tape. You'll notice I don't set my hand down when I draw today. Anything that touches the back of that paper, like a hand resting on it, transfers ink to the front. There we go. So I need to draw inside that. Uh-huh. So. a little fence in here and the fence is down so rails and posts pins not working there we go There we go. There's a fence. Ha! That wasn't too hard. It's not too hard if all you're doing is scribbling, though. I'm going to put some grass in here. Which just amounts to texture. I'm just kind of doing... thinking away the grass bends moves in the wind and mostly I'll tell you that this is grass with color when I paint it so I'm going to come back with some watercolor paint a little more solid line in that grass out in there up close it gets pretty textural in a distance, it kind of coalesces into a shape. And I think right in here, Put a little barn in here. I think I'll put a little lean to off to this side. Probably should have a little window up here. 
Oh, maybe some windows over here too. Just suggesting that those are windows. Let's give ourselves a little dormer here. Hmm, probably should suggest that there's some siding on this thing. And probably put a little shadow under that dormer. Uh, let's give ourselves a little I have kind of trees on the other side. Maybe I get some trees here too. There we go. A little fence down. A little old little barn. Uh, hmm. Throw some clouds in the sky. Huh? Oop, pen's not working. I promise you, it's still transferring ink. So well, I'm gonna. Not really even worry about that. There we go. Uh, I think I want just a little bit of shadow up here under the eaves of the barn. You know what? I think I want to beef up this side here. There we go. And maybe this side here. There we go. And then I think I'll put a shadow down in here too. Shadow behind that rail. Shadow under that rail. And let's peek. Let's see what we did. That'll work. So I'm going to splash a little color on that. Get rid of the ink, or the plate that the ink is on. And then uh, let me see if I can paint sideways and you can watch it happen right side up. Uh, how dark that is. Too dark. Okay. So 
So, get a little darker as it comes up, because up in the sky is closer to us. Down on the ground is closer to us, of course. So things get a little, colors get clearer, darker as they come up or as they get closer in this case. So grayer in the distance, bluer and brighter up here in the, where they're closer. And then, these clouds aren't going to be white. Tone them down just a touch. There we go. Sky. A little green. I already have some darkness, some values, some dark values in there from the ink. So I just kind of tinting this is all with a bit of color. Just a bit. Again, closer is brighter and more contrast. So, kind of creating what's called atmospheric perspective. Uh, I kind of want to come back with kind of a blue green. These, put these trees in with a blue green, kind of keep them on the horizon. Give it an old weathered wooden roof. And while we're doing old weathered and wooden, I'm going to turn this around and paint this. Paint this uh, rail here too. Okay. And then, just a touch of blue, blue, so phthalo blue, maybe even a little bit of that. So, the color I had 
the gray I used in the sky is actually a indigo color. I'm going to put a little indigo in here. There we go. Darken that a touch. And then see if I can get a low enough intensity red. Then it looks like old faded barn. Maybe add just a little color to that shadow. I put a little purple in there. And I think we just need a little line of green right next to that red just to set up some contrast. Green and red are exact opposites on the color wheel. So they kind of, they make the other one seem bright. And for some reason, all of a sudden, I want to turn this right side up. So I'm seeing it right side up. Sorry about the sideways view. And Just want to darken some of those shadows in the grass. And paint just a little texture too. Well, I'm done playing. Probably sign it, huh? We're going to call this Call it the Johnson Place and sign it Zimmerman and date it 2020 I hope you liked watching the Johnson place come to life, uh, such that it is. Anyway, that's it for now. Bye-bye.